What's up tech, it's Josh here. I've got a bunch of UAG cases for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And let me tell you, this has gotta be the best lineup that they've had. They just got better and better. I've used UAG cases for years at this point. I've always been a fan. It's an easy recommendation for me. If you wanna pick up one of these cases for yourself or want more information, there's a link down below for each case. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about telling you about this. Now, just a little heads up, this is not a review. This is just an overview going over some of the details. A little bit of a backstory. Most of the time I go for the largest phone available, like the biggest screen and all that kind of stuff. I wanted a little bit of a change. So I went with the regular size iPhone Pro versus the Max. So when UAG sent me this stuff, I mean, I appreciate them sending this. I was surprised to get all this in the first place. I was only expecting to maybe get a couple, but goodness, they sent me their whole lineup but it's for the Max, not the Pro, the regular size. So I went ahead and got one that fit my current iPhone 14 Pro, and I got the Kevlar Metropolitan, and let me tell you, it's been the case that has been on my phone for the most of, yeah, most of the time that I've had it. A lot of times I stick with the Nomad rugged leather case, but I don't know, there's just something really good about this, I'll get into that in just a second, but I just wanted to kind of give you that disclaimer. I'm not gonna show the phone inside of these cases, I just wanna go over the details, let you see what they're all about, maybe some different perspectives of what you've seen in the past. Before we get into today's video, I wanna talk about music bed. That's where I get all my music for this channel and also my professional work. I love the selection of music that they have. To me, it's the best out there. So if you're interested in leveling up your production quality, check out music bed, there's a link down below, and uh, yeah, save a few bucks while you're at it. It's free to sign up too, so browse their whole catalog until you're just happy with everything, get that music assigned to your project. Also, just a quick thank you and just mention a gratitude that they sent over some really cool swag. I got this coffee cup, use it every day, cool shirt, got a tote bag, a pen, and a few other things like that. So totally was not expecting all this kind of stuff and that was just, it was, it made my day. And again, like I'm reminded of every day with this coffee cup. Cheers. So you can see the level of my coffee and uh, you'll see how long it's gonna take. All right, so let's start off with that Metropolitan case because that's, again, it's the one that I've been using with my iPhone 14 Pro, and I've loved using this thing. And so if you're not familiar with my style of reviewing cases, I do go off, I'll review this case, let's put it that way, because a lot of the functionality and similarities and things like that will just be across all these cases. The things I appreciate about UAG is that they always have really nice tactile buttons, like, they always feel really good and clicky. UAG also sports really nice protection around the corners. It feels good in the hand. I like all the grooves that they include with their cases. It makes it easier to hold, especially if you have that max version. You gotta have some sort of like, what I call it, touch points to where it just makes it easier to hold. I'm also a fan of texture. Like I love different materials, wood, leather, Kevlar, anything like that, I'm a huge fan of. I don't like plastic kind of feels to where it's grimy, the shiny stuff just doesn't check off any boxes for me at all. I like to have access to all my ports, nothing's covered up. The speaker grill has plenty of space, the nice clear calls, nothing's blocked. The mute switch is easy to get to. Like I've got really no complaints about this case whatsoever. And like I said, it's been the one that I've used as a daily driver case for months at this point. Other factors that you might be interested in is that it is raised above the camera bump, the camera module. I also have a camera cover, and I'll leave a link in the video description if you're interested in that. It actually adds a little bit more customization to your phone if you're interested in that kind of thing. Also, just another level of protection. I'm a minimalist at heart. I'm not a big fan of seeing branding plastered all over stuff. So. I like what they've done with their branding. And it's a different style than what we've seen in you know, past years. This has that box letter kind of uh, engraving and it looks really cool to me. You get a little bit more text on the side here. Military standard with some numbers that I'm not really even sure what they stand for. Little engravings here on the button. Just helps you find it if you're not actually looking at the phone. We've got a plus and minus here. Just little details like that really stand out to me and again, it just shows the kind of quality that UAG has when they design these cases. I hope that helps out. I did <laughs> sneak in one review for, for the UAG lineup here. So from this point on, it's just gonna be showing the cases. You get to, get to see the inside of it. But before we move on, a couple other things I like to do for these tests is the MagSafe. So MagSafe is built into these cases. In my opinion, whether you got an iPhone or not, case manufacturers, you should be including MagSafe. It's the best accessory ecosystem out there but 
It's really nice and strong. This is the anchor ring or the ranker go. I mean, you can see how sturdy this is. Another MagSafe item that I use all the time is this wallet. It's really cheap on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description. I, I like it a lot because it's got a lot of flexibility with the amounts of cards that you can put in here. I've got this Popple digital business card that I like to use. So again, minimalist. So it snaps on pretty good. It doesn't really move around. It all kind of depends on cases too. When I have my wallet onto my phone, it's usually because I have like sporty type pants on, loose fit, I'm not really, I always, I still put this wallet, even though it's MagSafe, into my back pocket. So that's me. Anyways, let's move on. We've got quite a few cases to get through. And I just wanted to kind of give you a basic later view about this particular case, but it's a lot of the same principles are going to apply to the other cases that we are going to show. And since I have all these cases and I can't really do anything with them, I think I'll do a giveaway. So this is the Metropolitan LT. This is a great series. So there is flexibility with the case material itself. This has got the Kevlar material on the outside here in this pattern area. It feels great. I love, like, <laughs> I'll find myself just kind of brushing my fingers against it just because it's like one of those fidget toy kind of mentalities. But it feels great. I love the texture of it. It has some nice gripping points, like I mentioned before. The rest of it has got that TPU rubber material to where it's going to be pretty, you know, protective. You got all these bubbles here, and they might seem like they're designed, but it's actually part of their protection technology. And then on the rims on the inside, you're gonna notice there's some cushion there too. So that's all to help give you a little bit more impact resistance in case of a drop happens. You can see that MagSafe ring right here. So very nice case, I love it. It's, it's been a great addition to my collection of cases. Next up is the Civilian. So here's that newish branding that we've seen recently and I, I'm a fan of it, I like what they did there. I think it's a great way that they've done this. It's got that nice, the font, all that kind of stuff. If you care about those kind of details, I like that a lot. So you got this like kind of indention on the sides here. So in comparison to like that Metropolitan, it's got a smoother back. It's got more of a matte finish than anything. It's not glossy. It's a smooth back. So, it, you know, not as grippy back or textured back as the, the other ones. But as you can see here, like the rims are pretty identical same kind of design kind of got that honeycomb design on the inside too along with those air pockets on the inside love the color the navy blue color looks great the pathfinder now this is one of the designs that has kind of evolved over the years but it's a series that has been around for a while and i've always liked this one if i could have a choice with any of the stuff that they've put out there i've usually picked a pathfinder i call this like the stormtrooper kind of colorway you got the white with the black rims and things like that so really cool stuff again MagSafe, a little bit finer honeycomb design, and still got those air pockets. Basically the same kind of buttons, but you notice here this changes up a little bit. You got a lot more gripping points, so you got a nice grip. Like you can feel the indentions, like your fingers kind of go in between the grooves, and that kind of helps with just gripping the device a little bit more. The edges are a bit more protective, in my opinion, on this case, in comparison to some of their other ones. It's got a kind of squared off look to it or angled look. It's not really square anymore if it's not a 90 degree, right? They also add these like little screws. So I would say it's more of a, you know, design kind of thing than it is anything else, but I like the look of it. All right, this is part of their biodegradable series. I love it when companies do their part to do what they can to help protect the environment. And just, even if it's a marginal difference, it's a difference, so I like taking steps in those kind of ways. This is the Outback series. So you can see that, you know, no plastic material as far as, honestly, uh, as far as their packaging goes, I would recommend UAG to just go to the biodegradable packaging versus the plastic. You can still keep the same series and all that kind of stuff, but I think this would be a better option for the environment. All right, so this is a flexible kind of material. It's all one solid case. There's not many additional parts to it. For best use, keep away from dark dyes to maintain the color of your case. We recommend occasionally wiping your case with a clean soap and water. It doesn't hurt to clean any case that you get. Like how often do you clean your cases? Question of the day, right? All right, so just to kind of take that sticker off, let you see the rest of the case. Now mind, there's no MagSafe on this. So if you are a fan of MagSafe technology, if your accessories are all MagSafe, you're not gonna be able to be happy with this as much. You got those indentions here for your buttons, air pockets on the side, still a pretty protective case. 
and it, it feels, it's got like that recycled material kind of feel to it. And you got little marks here. Let's see if I can get a little closer, a little bit more detail for you. It feels really nice and soft. I like the, the feel of it. So this is another version of the Metropolitan, which is gonna have a flap or flip cover, and you got wallets kind of features to go with it. So if you're a big fan of Kevlar, you got Kevlar all the way around this thing. It's really cool. So you got Kevlar in the back, Kevlar on the front here. You got some pockets for some cards. So if you like to carry everything in one place, that's a great option. And so you also have kickstand capabilities too. So if you like to prop your phone up, you know, you got lunchtime or something and you want to catch some YouTube videos or whatever that you like to watch, you can prop your phone up at lunchtime and catch a break. A little detail that I like is that you can still take a phone call with the flap covered. So you got your phone closed up, still got a speaker hole right here to where you can manage calls. As far as the rest of the case goes, it's pretty much just like what we saw with the other Kevlar case, um, the Metropolitan. It's very durable feeling. So if that's the question that you have, like all these cases feel really durable. You're gonna be pretty happy with those level of protections that it offers. I like the branding here. I think that's good placement. The design team did really good with these cases. I'm, I'm really impressed. Next up is another favorite is the Monarch case. I wanna point out a few things that they include some details on the back. It's got five layers of protection traction grip, it's got an armor frame, premium materials, all the nine yards. You could tell that this one, you know, the other ones were rather flexible. This one is a bit more stiff. Like you can't bend it nearly as much as what the other ones allow. Another drawback about this one, no MagSafe. So, you know, at times, and go and check the company websites because at times they'll update different series with MagSafe capabilities. So there's always something that you want to keep in mind mind that these cases came out at the time of release. Very solid case, it's got great protection. I would still recommend this case if MagSafe isn't a deal breaker for you. The sides have extra gripping points. It feels really good, so it's, you're not gonna like just slip out of your hand kind of thing. On the back, you got some nice carbon fiber material. I've always liked the Metropolitan case. It's been a, my, if you could say a fan favorite or just Baintech approved fan favorite for a while at this point. Next up is the Lucent case. This is a relatively new case to UAG, and uh, I'm, I'm a fan. I like the design of it. It's a little different. Another little fact that you might catch about UAG is that they include how much feet drop protection on each case. So if you're interested in those levels of protection, you just kind of look out for those numbers. So you'll notice that this one is MagSafe compatible. It's a bit more flexible, but it's got some decent stiffness to it as well. And again, like their button placement and their design with, around that kind of stuff is pretty similar across the board with everything that they offer. I like this design. It's got like a, you can get different colors. So obviously this is a blue type color. You can kind of see it's got this translucent design. Hence, I guess, Lucent being the name. UAG does have a glass shield available for these phones, so if you're interested in that, I'll let you know. I haven't actually used this, so I need to install it, then I'll let you know maybe on a social media post or in the comments of this video. So the next up, we got the Plasma series, and this is pretty close to the Pathfinder, just a little bit different. And some of the differences is really just, uh, I guess, the color. This is more of a clear or translucent kind of color. You get a lot of the same protection reinforced corners, buttons are all good, air pockets, all that good stuff. Yeah, let's take another coffee break. Plus there's a motorcycle driving by, so audio wise wasn't gonna sound good. All right, so this is the Pathfinder series. We talked about one other. This is their military green color. If I was going to pick colors out myself, I like black, but this green looks really good too. And if you hear music in the background, so <laughs> little side story real quick is that I, um, Got a new neighbor upstairs in my studio area, and it's a recording studio. So we have all that going on. So we are actually looking for a new place to have the business. All right, Essential Armor is next. This case is pretty much one solid piece, all the same kind of features of what we've already talked about, and I just kind of want you to get a closer look at it. Just a little side opinion here. I like what they've done with this MagSafe design here. In the past, like I have just not liked any of the cases that shows the MagSafe ring. This changes it up a little bit. It looks like it's more intentional. So while I prefer not to see the MagSafe ring, if they are gonna show it, 
add some design, like be unique, and they've done that with this case. This is the Plylo series, and this has got more of that clear design, so if you like clear cases, you wanna see the design or well, the colorway of your particular phone, this is a good way to show that off. This is basically one solid piece. It's really stiff plastic. This kind of plastic, the way that it feels is that it's got a like tough grip to it. It's not slippery. So those are some factors that I think that you might appreciate knowing or being educated about. Sometimes those glass backs, not glass backs, those clear backs are just like really slick. And I'd rather just go with a naked iPhone versus that. So anyways, again, you got that nice, like hexy MagSafe ring. The Monarch Pro, now this thing is a beast. And this one has MagSafe built in. So you got that MagSafe ring design. It's not even a ring, like ring you think about circular design. It's got MagSafe support, let's just say that, um, built into this guy. And let me tell you, this thing, it looks, it just looks nice and rugged. So if you like that rugged design, can't go wrong with this one bit. And just look at all the details around the case. It got a honeycomb design here, got Kevlar on the inside, around that MagSafe support, little screw details. All right, here's the civilian, and it's a different colorway, but you got some different accents here. You got those orange accents. I know that's like a really big thing right now, especially with the Apple Watch Ultra, which I did not invest in. I want one, but that's a heavy price tag for a watch. Uh, maybe one day, we'll see. I like the design of this. I do wish it that it had MagSafe because this would be one that I would definitely go for. Next up, this one looks pretty cool. It's a new case to me at least. It's called the Dots and it just has a fun design to it. So the inside feels really nice. It's got a nice soft felt material. So you know your phone's not gonna get all scratched up or dinged up. You got MagSafe support on the inside. And then this part here, let me see if I can get a little closer and I'll provide a shadow because then you can see the designs a little bit more. You got these like dots. Well, <laughs> it's called the dot case, so it kind of fits, right? It adds that texture that I like. So again, like this Kevlar, it feels really cool to the hand, to the touch. This one does too. And it's a, you know, a soft feel. It's a completely different feel from any of the other ones. Let's take a coffee break as I keep on stumbling over my words. So this is definitely a more unique case in comparison to the other series that they have. All right, so that was the last UAG case that I get to talk about. All right, so that's uh, definitely gonna wrap up this video. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite case is. My top three UAG cases is definitely the Metropolitan LT, the non-flip one. I like that dot. That dot case, I like the uniqueness of it, so I'm gonna go with that one. And the Monarch Pro, between those three, I don't think that you can go wrong. Fantastic series of cases, lots to choose from. Um, I'm definitely a fan of the direction that UAG has gone and I hope they keep up the good work. And again, UAG, thank you so much for sending out all the awesome swag. I've got a couple more sips of coffee here and it's time to go edit this video. So I appreciate you hanging around and watching. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so so you can see more videos like this on top of some other creative work. And uh, hopefully this channel keeps on growing and you can grow with me. All right, I'm gonna stop talking now, finish my coffee and get back to the house to edit. Here we go. UAG, built to go further. Have fun with some ad space, right? They're not sponsoring this video anyways, but why not have some fun while we do this thing, right? I'm, I'm tired of talking. All right, let's go. Turn shit off.